Hello and welcome. This is the first of what will be a series of tutorials on how to program a Mindstorm robot. Here at Stewart Online Services, we're going to be training the kids to program the robots and also build them as well. All right, so this is going to be a basic tutorial on how to maneuver them after it's been built. Okay, this is a list of some of the robots. Uh, we have Spiker, which is very fun to build. Tracker. Okay, and also, now the first robot that we ever built was Everstorm. Alright, um, we have Reptar, uh, and lastly we have Gripper. Now Gripper is the one that we're going to be doing the tutorial on today. Alright, so uh, let's get into it. Okay, this is the main page. Once you get into Mindstorm, it shows you the project, uh, which you can change. You can change the picture, uh, basically some advanced settings uh, that you would use when you're further uh, aware of the program. Okay, so this one we're going to name First Project. Okay. Now to begin, we're going to go into the file menu. We're going to select new project. Okay, and that will bring us to the programming page. This is the start screen for the Mindstorm program. Okay, now we're going to change the name. It's very important uh, when you download the program to the EV3, it will show you the name that you're naming your project. Okay, so we're going to save the project. Now we have a basic project one, so we're just going to call this one uh, basic project two. Okay, we'll click save. Alright, so I'm going to explain a little bit about the board that you're looking at. This is the start button where the programs will start. It's how you test your program. We're going to go down to the bottom uh, where you see these icons. Uh, you have your medium motor, large motor, move steering, move tank, display, sound, and, and brick status light. Okay, these are the basic icons, uh, buttons that are going to be included in this tutorial. When we get deeper into training, uh, we'll go over the other options that you have. Okay, um, during this tutorial, it's just meant as a, a base uh, to show you a basic program of how to program the gripper robot after it's been built. Okay, um, now we're not going to get too far into the program. Uh, there's so much that you can do with this program with the robots. You have uh, variables. Uh, there's so many things that you can do um, as far as programming. Uh, the robot okay um, okay so now uh, uh, these are the buttons that we have um, there's a few other sensors uh, data operations advanced and my blocks okay now on the lower right hand side of the screen when the EV3 is connected it will show you the name of your EV3 and how you have it connected. You have USB, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. Okay, now the second option, uh, this is the motors that you have connected to the EV3. All right, so there's A, B, C, and D. So A, B, and C have motors connected, and then you have one, two, three, four, and one and four are be being recognized as connected to the EV3 brick okay now this is where we download you can download and run the program and then you can run and select a program 
All right, so let's get started. Okay, this is the firmware version, connection type USB. All right, so our first step, we're gonna do uh, this basic program. We're gonna have the robot go forward. He's gonna growl. He's gonna open his claws, close the claws. He's gonna turn left, growl again. Then he's gonna turn back to center and grip the arms again. So this is basically show you how to move the tank, number of rotation. This is the left or right, the rotations, and that's the break it again. And at the top it's showing you the motors BNC. Okay, so this is basically telling the robot to go forward 75% motor on left and right. And this is the rotations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it go out uh, some distance, so we're gonna select eight rotations. So the tracks are gonna spin fully eight times. All right, once it gets to the end of that block, we're gonna have them growl. All right, so this is the sound block. This is play file, it's 100% volume, and the play type. All right, so to choose a file, we'll go up here. We're gonna select Lego sound files. We're gonna go to animals, and scroll down to T-Rex Roar. All right, double click on the T-Rex Roar to add it. Okay. Next, once it goes to the end, eight rotations, he's gonna to go to the end, he's gonna growl, and then we're gonna have him open and close the grips. Okay, so this is the motor for his grip. All right, it's connected to port A. Okay, as you can see, uh, lower right hand side, port A. All right. Now this is the value that I was going to allow him to open, uh, open his claw. All right, so now that's to open. Now we have to do two motions. Okay, so the first one's going to be for open. The second one's going to be for close. All right, for open it's 75, and for open for close it's going to be negative uh, 75. Okay, so we'll click here uh, and type in negative 75. Okay. All right, so now we're going to have him turn. So we're going to be using the motors again. All right, B and C. Okay, so we're going to have him turn. Uh, so to have him turn, you have to manipulate both left and right motors. So left and right have to have values opposite. All right, so for this, uh, we'll have the uh, left side at 75 uh, and the right side at the negative 75. Okay. So he's gonna turn right. And then we're gonna have him turn back uh, forward. Actually, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have him open and close the claws. So this is gonna be open, and then again, we have to do another one for close. Okay, so this is going to close uh, the grip, and it has to be a negative value. So first you had the positive value, and then you have the negative value. Okay, then after him does that, we're going to have him turn forward. Actually, we'll have him growl first. So we'll go back into the file menu. We're going to go to T-Rex Roar. Okay, 
and then we're going to have them turn back facing frontwards okay so now this again we have to manipulate both motors all right so in the first event we had the uh, left motor in the positive range uh, and the right in the negative so now it's going to be opposite so now the left is going to be a negative and the right is going to be a positive range to have them turn facing forward all right now we're going to have them uh, a growl one more time okay all right so this is the full program and now we're just going to download and test it you always want to test uh, your program so you make sure before you get too far far into it that everything is working how it should okay so you can see that now the values on the lower right are changing so that so shows us where the uh, robot is and if it's uh, detecting you know anything around it okay so I'm going to show you exactly what this program does okay um, so first uh, we're going to save the file okay and here we go alright guys thank you for joining me again this was a brief tutorial to show what we'll be offering our kids this summer uh, starting this summer we should have full programs available. If you have any questions, please let me know.